basically our main thrust as a committee is to complement the efforts or the work that is done by government through the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Trade. Uh, we are all aware that Zimbabwe is uh, in isolation economically. Uh, that is another debate, but we are all aware. I think we acknowledge that Zimbabwe is under restrictive measures. So our work is to go out there, starting with here, starting even with yourselves as the media, our local communities, get them to understand so that we speak with one position on what exactly is our problem with Zimbabwe, why are we not moving economically, uh, we are aware, you have already heard about the issues of corruption, which we are tackling as Pollard. Uh, so as we engage, we are going to be meeting a number of stakeholders uh, in the diplomatic community. Uh, interesting, I've, I've just heard in the media that we are globetrotting, spending five million US dollars. Let me assure you that is hot air. It's not true. We haven't even taken a single trip outside Zimbabwe. The only engagements we have done so far was to engage the diplomatic community local here in Harare. So far we've met with the U.S. Ambassador, uh, His Excellency Brian Nichols. We've met also with the British Ambassador. We've met with the EU Ambassador. And we had uh, a discussion as well with UNDP. Uh, and all what we're picking up, their position is still the same. They would like Zimbabwe to do certain things for them to change their stance. So you know that diplomatic work is an ongoing process, it's not an event, so we will continue engaging them, explain our position. Uh, Polite is not there to rubber stamp everything that government is doing. We raise our concerns, we make our recommendations, we urge government to do certain things, because the whole idea is to help Zimbabwe rejoin the family of nations. So that's our, basically our work. And if you have, have any questions, you can feel free to ask, but we have a plan that we have presented as a committee, that's our work plan that will define what we are going to do in the first quarter. So we've got certain countries that we are going to be visiting in the next few uh, few weeks. Uh, starting with our own region, we are going to be meeting uh, leaders in South Africa, engaging uh, SADAC in Botswana, as well as international trips that may take us as far as Washington, D.C., basically doing exactly what uh, international re-engagement is all about. Thank you.